Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever felt broken? The feeling of being overwhelmed by work or when life deals you blow after blow, then it doesn't seem like things will ever get better. The feeling that you'll never reach your goals no matter how hard you try and that everyone can see and is focused on your faults and failings. But when all seems hopeless, what can you do to change it? What can you keep in mind so you can keep going and be prepared for when this happens next? Here are some points to keep in mind to maintain the tenacity to keep going. It can be a long, hard road that leads out of dark times, but the path out can be found. Let's begin. Number one, remember to accept and anticipate change. One of the reasons humans have not only survived but thrived for so long is because we have the ability to adapt to change. Our world is constantly changing from technology to trends and everything in between. It's important to remember to stay true to yourself while accepting and even embracing change. Prepare as best as you can, but accept that some factors are out of your control. So it might be good to set up a backup plan or two or three. Talking to others can also help you put the changes into perspective since our own minds often distort them. Number two, remember that your emotions and experiences are valid. Too often society attempts to brush struggles with mental health away with phrases such as just smile, good vibes only, or well, it could be worse. Even the most optimistic people will struggle and feel down sometimes. Even the most successful people go through defeat and failure. Even though it could be worse, that doesn't make what you're going through any easier. Allow yourself to go through these emotions in a healthy way, whether through talking to others or journaling, because trying to bury them often leads to worse effects. Number three, remember to ask for help. Asking for help goes hand in hand with validating your emotions and accepting change. When you ask for help, you validate your emotions by sharing them with others who may have felt the same way you do. The earlier you reach out for help, the more prepared you can be for future changes as well. The better connections you build with people, whether at work, school, or in your personal life, the easier it will be to reach out to them in a time of need, even though it may be nerve wracking to ask for help at first. Most of the time you will find someone who is patient enough and understanding. Number four, and this is huge. Remember to be present in the moment. Oftentimes, that feeling of brokenness stems from regrets about the past or worries about the future. However, we can't change the past and we have little control over the future. Staying aware of and being focused on the present will help change your outlook on life. High and low journaling can help you become more present. At the end of every week, you can briefly write down at least one positive and one negative thing which occurred that week. Focusing on a positive teaches gratitude, while acknowledging the negative helps gain perspective and patience. Number five, remember to focus on being the best you. Even though change in life is constant, that doesn't mean you have to change yourself every time someone else wants you to. Focus on building upon your strengths and improving yourself, rather than wishing you are someone you're not. These feelings of self-doubt often stem from comparing yourself to others. For this reason, it can be helpful to limit the use of social media, where you constantly only see the perfect curated images of other people's lives, people you don't know. Instead, you can gain inspiration from friends and family and compare yourself to your past self, since self-improvement is what truly matters. Finally, remember that progress and improvement, especially related to mental health, is a continuous journey. Every day, you may have to work on reminding yourself of these points, and some days it might be harder, others easier. Still, the most important lesson you can learn is that breaking the cycle of feeling broken is possible, and positive change will come with time. However, if these feelings of brokenness lead to symptoms of mental illness or thoughts of harming yourself or others, please reach out to a mental health professional as soon as possible. Can you relate to any of these feelings mentioned in this video? I bet we all can. So feel free to share with the fam in the comments below. Remember to like and share this video with people who might benefit. As always, the resources and studies used are listed in the descriptions below. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you soon.